Designers often aspire to do more than simply create buildings that are new, functional and attractive. They promise that a new environment will change behaviours and attitudes. Okay. Let's see two cameras everywhere. How does that make you feel? Or, like, or did like you never a, even notice it before? No, I didn't really even notice it, but now that I see it, it makes me feel like I'm being watched. As a group, we found we had a common interest in CCTV, technology, power, surveillance, control and fear. As a result, we came up with a series of questions which have evolved into our final question. How does the design of security influence our behaviour? We feel this links in with our practices due to the fact that graphic design makes use of signage and subliminal messages, product design is involved in the actual designs of the cameras, and architecture is involved with the physical public spaces and how people choose to use them. We live in a complex society where our safety and well-being is mostly protected. The use of security signs is to originally discourage criminals from entering their house or letting them know that this is a secured private place. The signs also let the individuals know that the place they are in is being monitored and that their privacy in that area is not protected. Before you can understand the subliminal techniques that advertisers use to influence the, the audience, you have to understand that they bypass our unconscious minds using these sub subliminal techniques, tapping into the vulnerability surrounding our unconscious minds and, ma and manipulates and controls us in many ways. Since we live in such a sheltered society, our primal drives and fears have been altered to fit other forms. People that are in this subnotic state love the servitude of the bondage and they will defend their prison. With these implications of information, security technology is becoming more widely developed with profound implications for the type of societies that will result. Quote from Edward Bernays, We are governed, our minds are moulded, our taste forms, our ideas suggested, largely by men we have never even heard of. This is a logical result of the way in which our democratic society is organised. Social validation compels us to change our behaviours, our attitudes and our actions, even when what we observe doesn't really match our true feelings, style and thoughts. We go against our better judgement because we want to be liked, accepted and found in agreement with everyone else. We follow rules because they are necessary to coordinate individual actions in a social setting. Some rules are self-enforcing. It is in each individual's interest to obey them. Removing signs forces people to look each other in the eye, to judge body language and learn to take responsibility. There are 4.2 million CCTV cameras operating in the UK, the majority found on privatised properties. We are captured 300 times a day. Surveillance is part of the infrastructure of a city. Privatisation has led to an increase in CCTV culture. Henry Lefebvre predicted that the consequence of treating places simply as products to sell to consumers would create units of near-identical places. CCTV cameras are bold, intrusive and create a sense of unease. This is down to the fact that they are so apparent and so abundant in society that people cannot help but feel threatened by them. Humans since 1982 created a lighting design which used the design language inspired by CCTV cameras. This seems ironic due to the fact that most people feel threatened or violated by the presence of CCTV, and yet this company have used the very disturbing structure for a lighting product to be used inside the home, a place where privacy should be unquestionable. Increased fear of crime comes with distrust of strangers. This is why curiosity is so important to democracy. People are afraid of being caught on camera and being labelled by onlookers who may get the wrong idea. This is why natural curiosity and kindness between strangers has all but disappeared. Strangers are seen as intruders to be monitored by intrusive CCTV cameras. Taking more precautions against crime and strengthening security can increase levels of fear and social isolation. Do you think the high security presence is effective in keeping you safe in this area? High security presence is keeping me safe? Um, I haven't actually thought about feeling... I never felt unsafe, to be honest. Uh, should I? CCTV will either make people conform, in which case they change the way they act in public, or make people rebel. Artists such as Banksy have humorous takes on the importance of CCTV in society. We chose to focus on the King's Cross area as this is a part of London we know well. We asked members of the public a series of questions which link to our interests in CCTV and surveillance. Hearing their opinions on CCTV gave us a clearer understanding of what the public thought. We found mixed feelings about the abundance of CCTV. It was interesting to note the different views. We asked a variety of individuals which gave us a better insight. 
these were their opinions. Do you believe that CCTV is sinister and do you think that CCTV is affecting democracy in a way that people act differently when they see the CCTV is around the area? Depends on the circumstances it's used in. Yeah. Obviously we'd all like to think that it's there for to protect us but it's proven fact that unfortunately it's not always the case is it? Exactly. I think that it's a good thing um, but I do think and I do think it, it stops people maybe doing things that they would do otherwise yeah. but I do worry about it. I think it's a sign of the times and it's their main need for security and can be used as an after sort of catch up if there's anything that's gone wrong so I think yes it's a good thing. Do you ever notice you're being watched? I do notice I'm being watched and I get sometimes very paranoid about cameras following me. Do you ever wonder who's watching you? I wonder that all the time, especially when the camera turns around and follows you. Caught on CCTV 300 times a day, um, do you think that's weird? Well, honestly, I don't actually think about it. No? So. How does it make you feel, though? Are you like following like regulations, or do you just not think about it and just do it? Well, I follow it because you never know who's around and who's going to pounce upon you. No, I'm not too bothered about being watched because I'm not really doing anything wrong. Do you think CCTV is sinister? Um, no, because I trust the government to use them in a way which is beneficial for society. A quote from Anna Minton's book, Ground Control. The problem is that environments remove personal responsibility, undermining our relationship with the surrounding environment and with each other, and removing the continual, almost subliminal interaction with strangers, which is part of healthy city life. While technology has made life easier, we have largely traded our privacy and placed our security at risk in order for the convenience that technology offers. I love being on the camera.